and uh, I was going through one of my chatbots and I saw I had a um, notification there for a live chat and there was a, a user that had subscribed but they didn't get this the get started button and so they typed a message and then they just got the default uh, reply message so Facebook uh, has recently been having issues um, which apparently has been resolved like about 24 hours ago or at least just over a day ago um, so I'm assuming that this uh, probably happened at the time that uh, the the uh, get started button wasn't showing so it was a real problem I uh, it ended up uh, having a user not being able to get started and get the uh, welcome message so how do I get this uh, user back on track so let me just uh, share my screen here this is uh, the user and if you have a look here that he hasn't been able to uh, well if um, let me just move this stuff out of the way he's, he's opted in directly which means he's come in through my Facebook page and he's pressed the send message button um, but I can see that there's no get started in the the history of the conversation and uh, then he's typed in demo okay obviously because my chatbot is called many chat demo and my greeting text will uh, have some indication that uh, there's demos in this chatbot so once he typed in demo he just got my default reply that just says hey Jason thanks for contacting me I will reply to your message as soon as I can and that was it and so he's stuck there so I was thinking well let me prepare something for this situation coming around so what I did is I went in and I created a sequence so I've called this sequence the welcome message and I'm going to send it immediately between the hours of 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. and so this is the uh, flow that I'm busy working on just called it sequence message one and I may just edit that sure why that's not letting me okay I uh, may have to do that edit these uh, live stream things okay I'm not sure how to uh, edit that uh, at the moment but I know that it can be done anyway so I am in edit um, for the flow so what I've done is I've just created a starting step over here and it's basically hey Jason it looks like there was an issue with the bot in delivering an initial welcome message thanks for exploring the mini chat demo bot and then I'm just asking would you like to see the welcome message now and just let him know that it's an automated message and then I'll give him three options sure show me or maybe later or no more messages please which is basically um, going to an unsubscribe bot if he wants to have a look at the welcome message now it will just take him to the welcome message and if he says maybe later then I just give a message that says okay no worries Jason uh, just click the button above because that uh, show show me now button will be there let me just make that a little bit more clear just click the um, show show me now button I think that's better okay it's just showing Cool. 
So that's that. So now what I'm going to do is publish this. And I'm just going to preview it quickly. Let me just jump over to Messenger here. Jump into that conversation. Okay, so hey Hilton, it looks like there was an issue with the bot delivering the initial welcome message. Um, thanks for exploring the mini check demo bot. Would you like to see? So if I just go show show me now, or sh or just show me, it'll just bring up my uh, my welcome message, and this is the welcome message, and it's just here a few demos or tips I can show you. And then he's back on track, and uh, that's really all I wanted to show you was how to get a user back on track. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments, and uh, we will. Oh, I know what I need to do here. that cool it's me again I was looking for uh, an easier way to get bring the camera on so uh, yeah if you've got any questions about what's uh, what to do with a broken bot I'm basically I'm using a sequence so uh, let me uh, actually just uh, go back to the screen share. I need to go back to my welcome message sequence. And what's gonna happen now, as soon as I activate this, it will go, cause it's sent immediately. If he is in a time zone that is between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. And if not, it will go at 8 a.m. in the morning. Cool, so that's it. That has gone, oh no, sorry. I need to actually go into my audience and then I need to go to um, the user and I need to subscribe to subscribe to the welcome message and then that's it that's it done now how could I nearly miss that important step without subscribing him to that sequence it would never fire off so I won't be able to see in, uh, in the live chat um, because there's a possibility that he's not in the time zone. I'm still within 14 hours and so I still have 10 hours to message him. Don't forget the 24 hour rule. Cool, so that's it. Um, I hope that was a useful tip. I will see you around. See ya.